Hello and welcome everybody, I'm the Consmen, and today we will be comparing Fraps and DX Tori to game capturing PC softwares. So before I get into in depth about each software, let me tell you a bit about each one. So Fraps is a software that records games, very popular in the recording community. It's not free. DX Tori is also very popular in the recording commentary. YouTube community and it is also not free to play so you both these will have to buy or find other means of getting them but I'm not gonna go into detail about that so I personally use DX Tori however the funny thing is right now I'm using Fraps to record this because Fraps has a screen capturing option so this right here monitor aero desktop therefore I'm recording this with Fraps right now but this is for games, so unless you plan on doing it that way, you won't be using this, or you won't be needing it for DX Toy. So let's run through the tabs in Fraps. You have your general tab. You have a few options here. None really important uh, except the monitor aero desktop. So you can do t tutorials like these, or uh, these type of videos. Next is your FPS. So. Bench benchmarking hotkey I don't mess with that stuff I'm not going to this right here is the overlay so if you see if I click this right here you see the numbers will show up in the top right corner I just like to keep that off because it's kind of obstructive and then I can just uh, disable or enable it with a hotkey if I prefer next is the movies and this is where everything comes together so right here you can choose your FPS settings your video capture hotkey F9 is always the good one for me uh, your sound capture settings I'm recording this with my blue snowball right now and if I had any game sound to record I'd ch make sure this is checked as well you can also hide mouse cursor video lock frame rate and force lossless RGB capture and that's pretty much it oh you can also change where you save your files but that's not too exciting next is screenshot really who's going to use fraps to screenshot I mean sure you can but that's not really something you most people recording games would care about now let's go into DX stories and looking at DX story you can see clearly that there are many many more tabs many more options and it may get kind of confusing and uh, that's understandable but it's very easy to learn most of the stuff you won't be touching so that's that's all it so let's start with the first tab this don't touch this unless you're using a streaming software that requires a uh, third party software but I'm not gonna get into that next is your FPS FPS uh, tab so I can click video FPS and basically it shows what's like your FPS so if I went back to fraps right now I did this you'll basically be seeing this in your games when you're recording but it won't show up on your actual game so it will be hidden but say you don't like it because it's obstructing something in the game you can simply uncheck it and a few of these other things shows if it's recording or not and of course you can change the color which I think is a pretty cool feature but uh, it's not too exciting I guess next part this is where you can save it so instead of in fraps you go in individually to each one you can simply add a whole bunch of folders so these are all my folders in which I record in and I can just do a simple check right here so I'm last video I recorded I put in my random folder okay and you can just simply add that now the next is the keyboard or hotkeys so F9 is the magic hotkey for me and uh, you have your screenshot thing like I said don't really bother with that your next is the movie recording tab now so right here you can mess with your codex I don't really know that much about codex so I tend not to touch that here you have your frame rate you have your file output and your direct show output so say you want to you're streaming like I said this offers the capability to stream or all right, DX Tori does not have the capacity to stream but third the using a streaming software that requires a third party program such as DX Tori DX Tori can do that so you would just unclick file output and click direct show output but not gonna get in that. You have your file format, you have AVI or raw cap. Raw cap has to do with some other stuff, but I'm not exactly sure because I don't touch the stuff and I don't need to. Uh, you can include or exclude your mouse cursor, synchronized video FPS. Here you have your scaling. 
So since I have an odd shaped screen, I can't do this, which is the 1280 by 720. I must do 100 percent, or else I get clipping. But uh, if you m want it to be like HD, or still be HD with this, but if you want to make sure it's exactly 1280 by 720, you just type in dimensions right there. Here you have your margins. I wouldn't touch those, and here you have some clipping options. Next tab is audio. So what I like to record with is here's my main mic. This right here is my the sound coming from the game. And then this next tab is Skype chat. Or maybe it's the other way around. I think it's the other way around. But one Skype chat, so when I'm recording with friends and all that. And then here you have some more codecs and the audio format. Just keep it at default is what I would recommend. And you can use a push to talk hotkey. Same on fraps as well. So the next thing is screenshot. Ah, we won't go into that. Now these next three tabs are kind of confusing, and unless you know what you're doing, don't touch them. And I don't know what I'm gonna do doing, so I'm not gonna touch these. Um, yeah, all these next three, nothing to do with me. So at the end of this video, I will do a side by side comparison with. I don't think I can get to the exact same clips, but I'll try and make them the exact as po as close to exact as possible. So you'll see that, but before we do that, uh, let's just go over everything and I'll, I'll share my opinions, I guess. And please feel free to leave your opinions in the comments below. So basically, I like DX Tour better because it has the wider range of options. With the audio settings, Like you can record in three, three levels. So if I just simply go over to my Sony Vegas while I'm rendering a video right now, you'll see... Uh, well, I deleted one, but I have three audio audio levels, which means I can individually edit the audio. So if the game audio is too much, I can simply lower the game audio, which makes life so, 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 so much easier when editing software or when editing videos. And that is something you cannot do with Fraps because it records into a single, a single audio uh, type of thing. So it combines everything. Next thing is lag now lag is a big issue for a lot of people recording their games now this I I know this changes per person for me personally DX Tori puts less stress on my computer than fraps however that may be different for you but I found for me personally DX Tori puts less stress on my computer now uh, I think that's pretty much it other than the wide range of options here which just makes you feel like you have more control over your program. I mean, Fraps is a very simple and easy program, but uh, when you stack everything together, I just like to stick with DX Tori. So, uh, yeah, let's head on over to the high definition side-by-side -side comparisons, and then I'll close it right back up here, guys. Okay, that was the HD comparison as and as you can see you probably didn't notice much of much of a difference And there really isn't much of a difference when it comes to quality now fraps and DX Tori do put out different size of Video files so fraps your files will be slightly larger than DX Tori which may or may not be a problem for you for me It's not much of a problem. So uh that's pretty much it. Tell me what you guys think below. If you have any suggestions for any videos, tell me below. If you know of any other screen or, sorry, game capturing programs, tell me in the description. Tell me in the description. No, tell me in the comments below because I want to know. DX Tori and Fraps do well for me now with what I do. Tutorials and stuff like this is perfect for Fraps. And then recording games is perfect for DX Tori for me. But, of course, I would love if you left your opinions below. And, uh... 
links to each of these will be in the description below. And uh, that's pretty much it, everybody. I want to thank you guys for watching. I want to make sure you guys subscribe to Red Light Broadcasting, the channel, Central, and all their other side channels. And make sure you go check out RLBHub.com. Also, go check out my channel where I do lots of gaming with DX Tori. And also my brand new Elgato, which video you may have seen earlier a week or two ago. So, that's be it. Subscribe to me. Subscribe to them. Subscribe to everybody related to this. And I want to thank you guys for watching one last time. Have a nice day. The Consman out.